Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Eyes of Fire Let's Play series, A Fateful Adventure. I'm sorry it has taken so long, yes Buckbeak, we're sorry that it has taken so long for the next episode, but we are now here. I have several reasons why I haven't been uploading the next episode here of Ice and Fire, and that is because I've been busy both in real life, but also on this... Excuse me, but big, but also on this very world. You see, today's mission is to go to the nether and get wither bones. So hopefully we will be able to find a nether fortress relatively close to the portal so I don't have to spend time searching through the nether. But anyways, what I wanted to do before we went there was to have the base ready. Now, I didn't want to make it into a time lapse. I didn't want to make it into a building episode because, well, because of the base design and also I don't do well when I record build at the same time, at least I don't think. And I also had another vision of showing off the base. So that is what I have done. I have built the base. It is actually already built and set up and I have transferred all the items and such to it. And I want to show you how it looks. I'm gonna roll some footage here that I made and hopefully you like it because I think it's pretty cool. Let's roll it. There you have it. That is the base. Here it is when we fly in. I think it looks amazing. I absolutely love it. Now before I continue, let's just put Buckbeak down so we can actually hear what we are thinking. Now before we continue and before I continue saying anything else, I just want to say a huge thanks to Atalantis for the help with this. She helped me design it and it honestly wouldn't even be yeah, as pretty as it is now. So I started building it in creative and then eventually Atalantis told me to send her the world so she could do some stuff with it and so yeah, this is the design she came up with, though it was my idea to put a secondary one of these over there. So if I just fly here and how I'm flying, I will show you in a moment. But yeah, originally there was only one this and then this, not that. So I add that um, while building it. But she did all the designing and the details and stuff. And I gotta say, I absolutely love it. Link for her channel down below in the description. Thank you very much for the help. Greatly, greatly appreciate it because I am not a good builder and it would not even be close to what this is if she hadn't helped out. So thank you very much. Um, but yeah, this is the base. And if I just fly out again here, no, I'm not using creative mode. I gotta say it looks very pretty. So let's, let's, let's give, let me give you a tour. You already know how it looks inside kind of, but let me show you in uh well with me here so here we go down here to the balcony here we have like a a view of the ocean and if i actually increase the render distance from 8 to 16 we could go even further but let's keep it at 16 we can look even further and we can see the island which i don't know what to do there let me know your thoughts down below if i should do something over there by that island that would be interesting, but anyways, here we have some fence gates, just some extra added protection, just in case a creeper spots up there and walks down here, finds it, and then stands in here, and I don't see it, and everything goes boom. That would be bad, but anyways, we come in here, we have a nice carpet here. Don't worry about the holes here in the wall, that will be lighting eventually. But one of the other reasons why I want to go to the nether as well now is because I want glowstone, because I need glowstone for the lamps I want to put in here. I'm not sure if it's gonna be redstone lamps or some other lamps. But uh, we'll have to see. But uh, anyway, let's start off over here, actually, because I do need something from over here. This room is just empty. I don't know what to put here yet. Um, if I get a need, I will use it, of course. But for right now, I don't have a need for it, so it's just going to stay empty. Except for this jukebox. It might as well house this. I don't know. It's not even centered. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but leading up here will be the kit or is the kitchen that we have here. So this will be potion area and this will be the kitchen. Pam's harvest craft stuff and food and all that good stuff. Uh, furnaces, we actually have some steak in here which I'm gonna take with me because I'm gonna need it in the nether. Um, an extra chest here. This is just, this is like cheese something. Uh, cheese mold, yeah cheese mold. There's water currently in there to give me 
salt, which I can use for crafting recipes. This is a well from Pam's Harvest Craft I made, just so I can fill up my buckets and also um, glass bottles. It's it basically a one by one infinite water source. It's pretty cool if we search well here. You can see Pam's Harvest Craft, six iron, and then some one of this in here you could use at the side that blah 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 even stone so that is very cool i decided to add that there instead of having a regular one by one water source somewhere and having to not spill it out plus that looks prettier so that is there so again this will be potion area and kitchen moving through here the hallway we have some potted plants here and we have some nice tables and chairs from bibliocraft so we can sit and enjoy some stuff, I don't know, sit and talk maybe. Over here we have the storage area, we have the chests. I know that doesn't look that great, I might have to think of something else. But anyways, I just wanted to make them. But this is the storage area, I will have to move some stuff around. If you're wondering what those ores are, don't worry, I will tell you in a moment. As again, I did um, transfer all the stuff from the chest down from our hidey hole up here, so that is all taken care of. No, I have not been to the nether yet, um, I've gotten this elsewhere in the world um, yeah and this chest over here is dedicated for ice and fire stuff like bones manuscripts dragon skulls gorgon heads which we have two of now the dragon blood which hopefully we will be using today and over here is just an enchantment area with um, people craft bookshelves so yeah so we can store the books that is actually pretty cool i think and matches well it just fits out as a staircase very cool here we have my diamond pickaxe a little bit used because i did need to go and get some obsidian so that's there, golden apple, not enchanted, um, an enchanted shovel just to put something in there, not because it's very special at all. Also if you're wondering what that is, I'll get to that in just a moment once again. But moving up here we have the bedroom, we have the two hamsters, which by the way we need to name, we need to name them. So let me do that. Um, apparently I found out that they need food and water, otherwise they won't be happy. I think they might even die. So I had to get this water thing in here. I will have to f figure something else out. But uh, that was just temporary. Here we have my dragon scale armor. Wait. Okay, that's weird. Um, and over here we just have a tool rack and some shelf. The hamster food that I use at the bed. And a nice carpet here. But let's in fact sleep. Let me feed those guys. Let me catch, catch? Let me fetch the names for the hamsters. And we will continue. And I will tell you the extra new mods that I have added what they are. So give me a moment, I'll get the names. All right, so I have two name tags here. The first one, the orange hamster, I have chosen the name Nugget. Thank you very much, Dark Prince, for that name suggestion. I think it fits very well, so I like that. Let's get that banged out. Now the next one is a suggestion from Atalantis, and that is Sparkles. And I really love that. That we will use for the white hamster. And I think it fits very well, both because it is white and, as she said, reminds her of sparkling snow, but also because it is completely white and has these nice sparkling aqua eyes. I think that is very fitting. So, Nugget, there you go. Name day and Sparkles, there you go. You now have official names. Now let me tell you the mods that I have added. I added the mod bubbles that was a requirement for the wings mod, which I have enabled. Oh, sorry, added, which basically allows you to, what you saw earlier, fly. So that is pretty cool. I made these bat wings, you make them like so. Uh, the bat blood you get from using a water bottle, on, not a water bottle, just a bottle on bats and you get the bat blood. Um, the ferret dust is an ore, I had to go to unloaded chunks, um, ungenerated, unpopulated, ungenerated chunks to get this ore um, and a diamond and such. There is a couple of others, actually a bunch of others, also some more ores. But as you can see here, we have angel wings, slime wings, we have butterfly wings, we have monarch, monarch wings, fire wings, bat wings, which are the ones I have, fairy wings, evil wings, and dragon wings. And we do actually need to repair these wings today, just so we don't, uh, just, just to be on the safe side also, so you can see how we do that. I've also installed immersive engineering, which is basically a industry mod, but it is, but the industry in it is not modern at all. We're talking like water wheels and yeah, stuff like, and it's not even power cables, like, well, power conduits. It is actually cables 
copper cables and such running from, for example, the ceiling. And you can actually see the cable running to the next thing, to the next thing and to the machines and such. Absolutely love it. I think it is a great mod. Also, a thing I wanted to add about the immersive engineering mod is that I feel like it is very realistic with the way it handles power and um, water wheels. And I think it's just very realistic and also in a like a older style, not modern style. And I think it fits well with the medieval age with dragons and such. I think it fits well, very well with that. So yeah, there you go. Anyways, I think we are ready. We have 10 obsidian, we have a flint and steel, we have our wings here. We have my backpack, which I don't know if I'm gonna use, but it's a good idea to have it with me anyways. Um, mm -hmm, yep, all right, well, let's go. I already know where to put the portal, so let's not uh, hesitate. Actually, 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 I will bring some more food. Let's fly down and build the portal. So the objective today is to get with the bones and so then after that making dragon bone tools we might be in between in this episode we might go back craft a sword get looting on it and then come back and kill even more with the skeletons if i didn't already say that it is the wither skeletons dropping the uh the, the wither bones so yeah we might head back and get looting on our sword just to make the Thing a lot easier but that will again require level 30 and that the enchantment is actually there so I promise nothing we will have to see it is not a hundred percent drop so they won't drop them 100% of the time you kill them so yeah but let's see okay we're somewhat safe I do see quartz already this will be a nice way of me being able to get experience as well um, oh wait oh Perfect! <laughs> this nether spawn is perfect for our needs. Look at that. Oh, I even see a chest there. Nice. I think we can even... Yeah, we can even... I don't know. Can we get to it like this? We might have to do some jumping and flying. Um, wait a second. It looks like there's a second one over there as well. Two nether fortresses right next to each other. Okay. That's going to make my job a lot easier. <laughs> cool. Let me just see what's up here then. Uh, looks like we're relatively safe from the nether sky. What do we have up here? Just a closed-in cave area. All right, nice, nice, nice. You know what? Let me just mark the coordinates of this portal. There we go. Let me screenshot that. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, oh, wait, there's two wither skulls right there. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's go. I hear a ghast. Let's go. I'm gonna... I hear some down here. You hear that? Yeah, there's some down here. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Hey, guys. Okay, let's take one at a time here. All right. Huh? I would like to not get withered. Oh, yes. Oh, that was so close. There we go. We got a wither bone. That is one. From my calculations, because... Oh, there he is. Um, I think ten. Yeah, ten because the bone... The bow also requires some. Okay, let's get to somewhere safer before I show that off, actually. We're actually under heavy assault here. Okay, that guy despawned. Okay, let's kill this one. And, hey, buddy, wake up. Wake up, buddy. Ow. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Ow. Ooh, another one. Nice. Okay, uh, eat. <laughs> eat. Okay, let me just, uh, can we stand here? Ooh, nice. Oh, ah, that's an opening. Okay. Let me just show you what I mean here. Then I want to make the bow, that is then eight. And then I also want to make some dragon bone arrows, which is made by with a bone shot, and you get three shots from one with a bone. So I think if we go for like 12, around 12 with the bones should be able to do it. Just mute the game volume here, because otherwise everything would be way too loud. Also, we have a normal skeleton here. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Oh, dear. Okay, you know what? That that got me very, very low. And, okay, this is a weird glitch. The wings mod are now muted. Hold on. Give me a second. All right. I reloaded the world. There we go. The magma guy is down there. That's good. Let's get into this thing, because I can hear these guys in here. Okay, we got a chest there. Oh. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> 
And we got another one. Nice, so that's three. Oh, wait, I don't want to get lost. Okay, so that's the staircase. This is... Go okay, I almost swung at him. <laughs> if we aim for like 12 or something, then I think that would be a pretty good number for us to begin with. Then I can always get more off camera. What do we have? An oh, diamond. Gold. Okay, not bad. I'll, I'll definitely take the diamond. I mean... And you know what? Take the chest as well. I guess we'll just head up the stair here and see. Oh yeah, nether ward. That is another thing I want and need. Let me just get this stuff. Uh, break that so I can actually get out again. I don't know how much I will be wanting to use potions, but you never know. It's always a good idea to have it. What's up here? Looks like... Did it? But we do have something here though. What is this? Ah. Okay. And so there is the portal. Yep, there's the portal. Okay, got it. So that leads over here. So this goes down, but there's another way over there. I see a blaze. I'll need a blaze as well. I'll need some blaze. For okay, don't hit that pig man. <laughs> don't hit the pig man. You guys are in terrible spots. Really? Yep, that's right. Run. There we go. Okay. Oh dear. These small guys can be annoying. Okay. Stop that. I want to be careful because there could be multiple wither skeletons around the corners. Nope, we're good. Okay. I'll need a bunch of blaze rods as well. Maybe not a bunch, but like three or something. Okay. There's another chest. Oh! Two diamonds? Okay. Not too bad. Golden sword, that, and I'm gonna take the chest as well. Also quite covered in all directions, except for this one. Wait, I see something. This might lead to... Uh, that sounds like a blaze spawner. Okay, this leads a little bit to the outside. We need to remember that there's the other, the other fortress as well. Alright, this just leads over to another spawner. Um, I kind of want to check out the other one as well and see how that one uh, does it. Uh, is that it over there? There's, oh, wait, wait. Two just spawned. Two just spawned here. Nice. Okay, you'll be gone. We'll be gone. Okay. Two just spawned. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Oh dear. <laughs> hey guys, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Eh. What do we get? Nothing? Ah, oh, nothing. I was sure I saw one. Okay, where exactly are we compared to portal because I see another one over here okay there is the portal so it goes around that way now oh, I can't hear my wings again let's land right here ah. how dare you I hear one right there hey buddy yeah that's right come down let's have some fun come on die 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 nothing oh i like it when they're open like this okay i see one of them over here i have a bow i'm gonna smack these guys oh there's two more down there nice okay i need i need these blaze blaze wait i don't have any more arrows ow okay 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 time out time out time out guys time out okay i'm gonna jump down get this guy actually get him down the staircase Come on down. Come on down here, buddy. Yes, we got one. Nice. The nether, that just leads to doom, obviously. The nether is a dangerous place, I'll tell you that much. Well, I got that out of the way. That was that achievement. How did that guy get up? Okay, nope. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. I'm good. Okay. How did he even get up there? Okay. Hey, guy. Wanna drop me a bone? Maybe two? I don't, I don't even know if they can drop two. Would be cool, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if they can. Hey, buddy! How about you just die very quickly? Oh, that's one. Oh, I see the sword. You can't hide from me, buddy. Uh, have I looted that chest? No, I haven't. Yes, another one. Nice. 
Okay, just a gold sword and a gold horse armor. The only annoying thing is that I won't be able to fully enchant them all with 30 level enchantments. Um, oh, that's one. Because... There's three. Okay, you know what? If there's a chance these these guys despawn, I'd much rather have the... Four! Okay. Okay. But that's what I was saying. I, wouldn't, I won't be able to enchant all of them with 30 level enchantments. Because... That would require that I have like 45 levels. Wait, did they not drop? Not a single one of them dropped. Okay, you, you gotta drop one. You gotta drop one. Come on, buddy. You gotta drop one, aren't you? Come on. No. Okay, I'm gonna try this guy then. No one. Okay. Ah, two here. Okay. Wait, three. Okay. Yay. Fly over here. <laughs> and then attack. Come on, guys. Come at me. I like how the other one is just completely ignoring the situation. <laughs> Not a single one of them have dropped one yet. Oh, no. Ow. They punch hard, actually. No. Okay. Whoa. Oh, hey. Hey, fella. No. Not a single one. Ah. <laughs> Man. Well, at least there's a big magma cream over here I'll be able to, to get, but... Wow. I gotta say. The nether is quite big. Hey, buddy. Well, that hit. That actually hit. Okay. Here's a... Ow! Here's another one. I got smacked right into that guy. Whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out here. Okay. Wow. Yay! Come on. Come on. Nothing. Okay, this might be a long search. And of course it spawns with bodyguards. And then it might not even drop what I seek. Yeah. Okay. Here's a strat. Hey guy, how about you come over here? Yep, that's right. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me over here. Where I can get cornered, that's right. Come on. This is disappointing. They are made of with us. And yet, oh, <laughs> you don't, you, you don't trick me, buddy. You need to think a little bit more than that. Um, hello? Finally. Took you a while. Did anyone mention anything about, uh, looting? That, I have to say, that's, that's a funny skull. <laughs> Okay then. Well, here's two more. Let's see if they are gonna drop us anything. Come on. Please. Yes! One! Yay! We're more than halfway. Okay, you... If you could just... Not make my life that hard. Okay. Yes, another one. That's eight. That's eight. We're missing four. We're missing... Four. Hold on. Okay. Do we have anyone over here? Whoa! Hey, buddy. <laughs> I'm not interested in you right now. Oh, that's another one. Okay. Did we have one up there? I'll look after. Hey, guy. Hey, hey, buddy. Yep, that's right. Come on. Let's go. No. Nothing. Come on. Nothing. Uh, okay. Yay! Found another one, though, yet again, he has two bodyguards. This time it's skeletons, though, so that's not too big of a deal. Hopefully. Yes! We got another one! Nice! That is three. We're missing them. Three remaining. Ow. Nope. Nothing there. Ow. There's two right... Three, actually. Right here on this platform, though. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Let's hope. Yes, that's one. That's mine. Okay. Okay. We got two more over here. Let's take care of these guys. Oh, that was one man. Ow. Ow. Stop punching me. That's not nice. I mean, technically I'm the one that punched first, but still. Come at me. Yes. Eleven. We got three up in the tower. That's gonna be an interesting... Oh. Unless they just drop down on, on their own. That That's fine. None. Hey, buddy. Hey, guy. Yay. Oh, both of them. Perfect. Haha. <laughs> Wait, is that a... Oh, man. I thought... I saw wrong. I thought that was a Wither Skeleton Skull as well. That would have been epic. <laughs> but 12. We have 12 Wither Bones now. But you know what? I want more Dragon Bone Arrows. So... Oh, there's another one. So... I think I'm gonna keep going till we get 16. So, yeah. That shouldn't take... Oh. That shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Let me just get rid of this guy. Whoa. Okay, okay, uh, crisis. My sword just broke. Let me just equip this thing. It's a gold sword, but I gotta use it for something, right? Yes, another one. Okay. And there should be two more over here. Together with the blaze. Ow! Not again. Ow. Wait, there's one over there. There's one over there. Okay, wait, hold on. I need to not die. Another one. One here, and then you better not set this one on fire. <laughs> okay, that's 15. I just want one more. Just one more. Just one. Wait, hold on. What are you doing out here? Ah, could have been great if that had been the 16th one. Excuse me. I don't think you're supposed to be down here, chicken. <laughs> How on earth did that get down here? I mean, in vanilla Minecraft, I'm pretty sure the baby zombie pigmen can spawn on a chicken. But still. <laughs> I just think that's kind of funny. Maybe because of Vanier Mania and how they look, it just seems so weird that a chicken would be down here. <laughs> There's another one. Let's see what he got for us. If anything. Yes. That's another one. You know, I'm tempted to keep going until either I run out of food or run out of sword durability. I'm not going to make another sword down here, uh, like stone sword or anything, but until I've used these up and had food, it's almost stupid not to keep keep going, because this is actually pretty easy just flying. Whoa, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's another reason to have wings and whatever. That's because, like, it's fairly easy to do this. Just fly, well, between fortress and wait for them to spawn. <laughs> Okay, I got it. And we got it with a skeleton skull. <laughs> oh, we got it with a skeleton skull. <laughs> nice, perfect. And I got more food and swords, so I just came at it. I saw another one over here, but this could be a tricky thing to do. Because there is blazes and skeletons here. Oh, hey buddy. And I have one stake left. If I do this wrong, I will not be able to come back safely. Okay, you know what? That's good. Just don't hit me. Whatever you do. Please. Okay. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I have to eat. 
Okay, I think it is the time to evacuate. I am hurt, I have no more food, and if I'm not careful, I won't be able to come back home. So, here goes. We're out. We're out, guys. Mission? Uh, where's the portal? Uh, no here. We made it. Mission successful. We got... Let me just put all this stuff away. We got 20 wither bones and one wither skeleton skull. Let's go back home. Mission complete. And let's craft some stuff. Alright, let me sort out my inventory here, put stuff at the right place, and then I will be right back with you and we will get to making those tools. Give me just a second. Alright, so let's get to it. This wither skeleton skull I'm gonna put right in there. Once we have three, we will be able to summon the wither boss. But anyways, that is not what we're here to do today. That will be for another time. We want to make dragon bone tools and especially the flamed dragon bone sword because that requires the fire dragon blood. We have the fire dragon blood. We'll wait with that upgrade till last. So let us make start with making. Actually, you know what? Before we even do that, I think we can put all of our old tools in here because I don't think we will be needing them anytime soon with this new upgrade you know what this probably this this, this kind of ugly i'm not gonna keep those old tools there but for now it will be fine uh did i feed you guys i don't think i fed you guys yet nugget and sparkles all right let's uh let's make these tools now so let's start off with the sword i guess I, you know what i want to do this manually so we have dragon bones with a bone dragon bone sword eight attack damage that is better than a diamond sword. Look at this beast. This is something. And its recharge is actually fairly fast. Not bad. Let's uh, stay on the theme of weapons and ah, I need some string. All right, so let us make the bow now, just like so. Dragon bone bow. I'm not sure what the difference is between this bow and the um, the normal bow. Also, apparently, it cannot shoot the normal, the normal arrows. But I don't know what is different between this one and the normal bow. I'm assuming that it's only the dragon bone bow that can shoot the dragon bone arrows. But we'll make those in a bit. Let's make the pickaxe now. So like that and like that. Dragon bone pickaxe. I do believe all the tools are better than the diamond tools. So this is pretty amazing. This is quite an upgrade. Dragon bone axe. Dragon bone shovel. And what am I missing? I think that is everything. Now it's just the arrows left. So I do believe like this. And then six. That may gives us 30. And I will assume. Yeah. The dragon bone bow. I should have waited till I had enchanted it. I'm dumb. We can still do that though. It's fine. It's just one use. So yeah, the dragon bone bow can only shoot dragon bow air dragon bone arrows not the normal arrows and i do not believe that the normal bow nope the normal bow cannot shoot the dragon bone arrows so that is why that makes sense i want to make some more though so we have like 60 or so i could make even more you know what eh. i kind of want to save these till for just in case plus i'm running out of dragon bones here and i need some just in case also because later on we will probably need to make the dragon flute so i want to save some so right there that is pretty good i'm gonna save the rest of them because that is yeah that's 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 nice to have some extra to spare now this sword is sword but this sword this is the sword <laughs> <laughs> it does more attack damage, ignites and knocks back targets, plus 8 damage against ice dragons. Right there. A flaming sword. This thing is huge, but it's also extremely cool. I love it. I guess that should be the first thing that we enchant- Bam! For arthropods! Oh, come on! Okay, well, I guess it's not the first thing we are enchanting. <laughs> Power 4, that's not too bad either. Let's see what we get on the pickaxe. Unbreaking 3 is an absolute must for this beast. Let me grab my lapis lazuli here. 
And let us um let's attend this thing, unbreaking three. That's actually very good. Unbreaking three efficiency for Fortune 2. We can bump the Fortune 2 up later on, but that is actually not bad. Now what do we have at the sword? Unbreaking 3, I'm just gonna risk it. It is actually a huge, huge risk to do this, because if we get like beta for the parts or something, I'm gonna be so extremely sad, because I just watched Shatness. So this is a huge risk that I'm still considering not doing. But just for the tension, let's just do it. 3, 2, 1. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 3. We'll get that Sharpness up as well. Um, unfortunately, I cannot uh, enchant the axe and the shovel and such yet. But I will get some more levels by going to the nether with this thing and doing some, um, yeah, some mining. Now, I want mending, but that requires that I find a village. Now, I will end this episode here, but I will end it... Um, leaving you guys with a question because there is one thing speaking of villages this biome generator this world generator is extremely extremely not optimized in my opinion it loads extremely slow when I fly with hippogriff here uh, buckbeak um, I get lagged back all the time I believe even with the render distance at 8 I get lagged back um, so yeah, it's just very extremely not very good. So I want to ask you guys if you have any suggestions. Um, I'm thinking of upgrading to biome so plenty, removing this one, upgrading to biome so plenty to get the to get another biome mod. Um, I know biome so plenty. I really love that mod. It is a great biome mod in my opinion and. Yeah, I'm thinking of using that one, but let me know what you think down below. Should we use that one or is there another one that you would recommend that I use? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, I do believe that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. We completed our task. I don't know what the next mission is. Atlantis has not informed me and she said she'd have to have to think about that. So yeah, that's interesting, but I'm going to be working off camera, getting these enchantments and maybe searching for a village. But that's going to be it for this one. Subscribe if you think this video earned it. It supports the channel and if you haven't done so yet, be sure to do so. Also be sure to tick the notifications on so you get notified when I upload and when I go live. Speaking of live streaming, also follow me on Twitch as I do live stream on there as well. Join my Discord server to come together with the community. Follow me on Twitter. And of course, if you're interested, I also have a Patreon page linked down below in the description. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this one hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time have a wonderful day goodbye